In March 2022, the Needham Planning Board approved the development of a child care facility on 1688 Central Avenue, but with several modifications, including the demolition of an existing barn on the site and a setback that was almost double what the developer proposed. The developer, Needham Enterprises LLC, quickly filed an appeal to the state land court. The case went to trial on April 25th and 26th, and a third trial date has been scheduled for May 18th. Municipal producer Yu Xiao Wen takes a look at the main complaints in the appeals. Many of the complaints center around a state law commonly referred to as the Dover Amendment. The Dover Amendment disallows towns or cities from prohibiting or requiring a special permit for religious and educational institutions, which exempts such uses from local zoning regulations. However, the law can be ambiguous because it also states that such lands or structures may be subject to reasonable regulations concerning bulk, height, setbacks, open space, and parking requirements. The plaintiff claimed the planning board's decision exceeds the authority under the Dover Amendment. Furthermore, the plaintiff challenged specific conditions and modifications imposed in the decision, stating they are beyond the scope of reasonable regulations and would result in excessive compliance costs without significant municipal benefits. Some of the modifications being contested include the demolition of an existing barn, which Needham Enterprises said the Needham Children's Center plans to use for storage. As such, the barn should be considered a structure for an accessory purpose related to the operation of a childcare facility and should be protected under the Dover Amendment. The planning board argued that imposed 120-foot setback requirement necessitates the demolition of the bar, but Needham Enterprises challenged the fairness of this requirement, stating the zoning regulation for that area only requires a 35-foot setback, and the larger setback would add $250,000 to the project cost, plus another $224,000 cost for the demolition of the barn and the reconstruction of a new storage structure. These costs the plaintiff claimed, quote, far outweigh the negligible municipal benefit. Other contested conditions include a cap on the number of children and staff at the facility, as well as traffic mitigation measures. Another noteworthy matter is a group of abutters of the property filed to intervene as defendants in order to protect their interests and ensure the planning board's conditions and modifications remain in place. During the public hearing process, Neighbors expressed significant concerns over various issues, including traffic and environmental safety. They called for the demolition of the barn to push the proposed building further back and create a longer driveway to prevent overflow of cars on Central Avenue, which they said was already congested during peak hours. They also advocated for third-party soil testing on the land due to records showing the existence of abandoned cars, construction materials, and oil drums on the site. The developer agreed to mitigation measures such as adding clean soil, but opposed further testing. The planning board's decision required Needham Enterprises to comply with the Board of Health assessment, including a site examination to determine if soil testing is necessary and recommendations for mitigations if contamination is found. However, prior to the trial, the planning board waived this condition. The plaintiff is also challenging the Board of Health authority in this matter contesting their role in overseeing the assessment. The board also waived the condition that granted them authority to impose additional requirements if the facility's traffic impact on the neighborhood was greater than represented. However, the board still defends other traffic-related conditions, such as police details and the submission of a traffic signal timing plan before a building permit is issued. In their application for intervention, the neighbors also stated since Needham Enterprises belongs to former select board member Matt Borelli, they, quote, have a healthy skepticism concerning whether their interests will be adequately protected by the town defendants. Permitting intervention will address that significant concern. Their motion to intervene was denied. We'll continue to provide updates on this case as more information becomes available during the ongoing trial. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Yu Xiaoyuan.